Hello, Crossroads family. I want to welcome you to question number two, who do you say that I am? And this is all part of what we're doing for Easter week here in Holy Week. And you should have a kit. If you don't, you can grab some household items and, and, and just follow along with us. And then this kit is going to be a washcloth, which you, everyone has in their, in their uh, pantry in their bathroom, I'm sure. And then also, if you want to, you need a little tub, you don't need something quite this big. We got this out of the kids' room and a base and a pitcher, and you can follow right along. And I encourage all of you to do this. Also, if you are young or young at heart, there's a coloring page that you might enjoy as well in your kit. So please open that up and follow along as we go through this video. So today we're going to discover what it means to have a humble heart be a humble servant, and of course answer that question number two that we've been following as a church, the five questions, and that's, do you know what I've, what I've done for you? So I'll let Jesus tell it a little bit better in John 13, 1 through 17. So we've got 17 verses here, so, so play along. I'm using the, uh, the Passion Translation, more, a little more conversational potentially. It starts like this. Jesus that knew that the night before Passover would be his last night on earth before leaving this world to return to the Father's side. All throughout his time with his disciples, Jesus had demonstrated a deep and tender love for them. And now he longed to show them the full measure of his love. Before their evening meal began, the accuser, we all know it's Judas, had already planted betrayal in the heart of of one of his disciples. Now Jesus was fully aware that the Father had placed all things under his control, for he had come from God and was about to go back to be with him. So he got up from the meal, took off his outer robe, and took a towel and wrapped it around his waist. Then he poured water into the basin and began to wash the disciples' dirty feet. And try and dry them with the towel. But when Jesus got to Simon Peter, he objected and said, I can't let you wash my dirty feet. You're my Lord. Jesus replied, You don't understand yet the meaning of what I am doing. But soon it will be clear to you. Peter looked at Jesus and said, You'll never wash my feet. Never. But Peter if you don't allow me to wash your feet, Jesus responded, then you will not be able to share life with me. So Peter said, Lord, in that case, don't just wash my feet, wash my hands and my head as well. Jesus said to him, you are already clean. You've been washed completely and you just need your feet to be cleansed. But that can't be said of all of you, for Jesus knew which one of them was about to betray him. And that's why he told them that not all of them were clean. After washing their feet, he put his robe on and returned to his place at the table. Do you understand what I just did, what I'm doing? Jesus said, You've called me your teacher and Lord, and you're right, for that's who I am. So if I'm your teacher and Lord, and have washed your dirty feet, then you should follow that example that I've set for you and wash one another's dirty feet. Now do for each other what I have just done for you. I speak to you a timeless truth. A servant is not superior to his master, and an apostle is never greater than the one who sent him. So now put into practice what I have done for you and you will experience a life of happiness enriched with untold blessings. Wow. Can you imagine the Son of God washing our feet? The disciples' feet live in person. That had to be an extraordinary experience for them. And for Jesus, what an amazing 
form of servant leadership. In fact, that is probably the start of the servant leadership movement. So there's a couple things that I want to share briefly before we, we get into a, a little brief demonstration here. Uh, the first thing is that I believe Jesus was really wanting to show us a model of humility. And the scripture really postured him in that way, uh, in, the, in the choices he made to, to explain that to his disciples. Because in order to wash someone's feet, you need to get on your knees. And any time we're on our knees, we're, we're, we're serving usually in some capacity or working or doing something for someone else. Or, or maybe what I thought of when I, when I w was thinking about this scripture passage is Jesus is on his knees washing our feet and we could be on our knees praying as well. Would be another way for us to serve. So I really think that in this time of pandemic, it's a great time to spend time on our knees and serve our families and also be praying for those that we can't see, like some of you out there that are watching this video. I'm used to seeing you most Sundays at church and in the community, but now we're social distanced for a short period of time and I think one way for us to connect is through that on our knees praying. Another is servanthood. The role of washing feet was really, in Jesus' day, if you didn't know, was really the bottom of the social ladder. That was the, the, the entry level, if you will, servant of Jesus' time. And I love that he was able to really model in an extreme way that he came as the Son of God, to save us all, but really he came in, in a manner of being a servant. And he said himself, I came to serve, not to be served. And what a better way for him to be born in a manger and then also to wash his followers' feet. I also think that Jesus is calling us to be generous in this time, uh, to serve and encourage one another uh, it's, and find ways to, unique ways a little maybe out of our comfort zone to really serve in this in this unprecedented time, in this time of Easter and this time of Holy Week. The next thing is the washing away of sins. It's just beautiful and and not only is it is Jesus humble in in the way that he does this, but he's also giving a symbol of washing the dirt away. He's about ready to go to the cross to just to wash our dirt away. And lastly is the restoration that comes from it. We all like getting our feet massaged or washed. We also, you know, we feel refreshed when we take showers, a little bit, maybe a little bit different than Jesus' time. And they might have been in the Jordan River or something. But uh, it's a, when water washes over us, it's refreshing and restoring. And Jesus, I believe, when he says, now do this to one another, is really, we need to help restore and encourage, confess our sins one to another and to really build each other up. So I'm going to model this real quick with my, with my twin miracle boys, if you know the story, which I had time to tell you. Let me know. I'd be love to share, you what, share with you what, what Jesus has done in, uh, in our family's life at a different time. But right now we're going to do this. So we got a couple questions from Mr. Noah here. So what was question number two? You remember? Who do you say I am? That was number one. What's oh. number two? You know what I've done for you? Oh yeah. Awesome. So how does it feel to have your feet washed by your dad? It's interesting because usually I'm the one who's serving him. You're serving me, doing chores around the house and things? Yeah. Yeah, that's very good. Yeah, so this is really how they did it. They took poured a little more water on top of this. Yeah, so. Wash all of this off. Maybe give you a little foot massage. Can we get more water? <laughs> we can. So, so Noah, while you're sitting here, for everybody out there watching me do this, can you personalize what washing of feet means to you? Um, it means like how. Um, it's just different because usually, I like, I I feel like 
I like serving others, but when people serve me, it makes, it just feels like, like, it's not, like, it feels like washing feet is like just serving others and without having to like, without wanting this and wanting that. It's just for serving. Yeah, very good. Well, tell you what, as we kind of close our video here, would you like to say a little prayer of, you know, how you'd like to respond to Jesus and, and uh, what he was trying to show us and how, to, how we can serve others? Sure. With a humble attitude. Go ahead. Dear Lord, I thank you for this day, Lord. And I pray that you will just help us with everything. And I pray that you will help us follow your example to just fall, to wash others' feet. It doesn't have to be literally washing it, but just doing something that helps out someone else. And Jesus, I thank you for your example of servant leadership and how we, as your followers, can take a moment and look at what are you doing and then mod, take that model of servant leadership and of washing away, carrying each other's burdens, con confessing our sins one to another, and really just take that and be Jesus to our world. And all this we pray in your name, Jesus. Amen.